Okay, and we're rolling. What's up, everybody? I'm Nina, and I'm here with... Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker. Johnny, do you know where you are right now? Of course. I'm in the desert. <laughs> Can you not see? Yeah, open your eyes, damn it. Huh. Desert, my friend. I never left. It's approximately 30 degrees out here. It's really nice weather, guys. Johnny doesn't feel cold. He doesn't feel pain. He's going to fuck up the atmosphere. I am the heat here. I change the atmosphere, my friend. He's the heat. Heat, he. Yeah, I hit the heat. <laughs> he heats the heat. He's the heat heater. Johnny, do you think that there were aliens in the mall in Miami? I'm not sure if the aliens or the. Did you hear about Harry it? Potter or one this like I I don't know. I was looking for, but there's no really good footage yet. Like. No, all of the footage. It's like. They, they said that they confiscated all the phones and they, they made everyone like delete all of the footage and all no, of the videos. No. But like all of the videos and footage that I'm seeing is of literally nothing. It's very blurry, like you cannot see much. Like, come on, the, the, the new iPhone, nobody had the new iPhone. They fucking can zoom like a thousand kilometers and that shit, you can see stuff. You know? Yeah, nobody had the new iPhone. Yeah, the come on. If there is something there, we're going to see very soon. There's got to be something because it's like, why would they have over like a hundred police cars show up to a mall for a bunch of kids getting into a fight. It doesn't make any sense. A hundred police cars. That this that this situation. More than hundred, I think. Yeah, it was. Or insane. maybe something to to cover up the Epstein list as well. Were they? I don't know. They were saying that these kids gathered together and they had this little PlayStation looking box. Yeah, they said they opened some portal or something. They said there. they opened a portal and something came out of it. Yeah. I want to go inside the portal. Okay, so have Something you Something coming out, I come in. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> have you heard about the portal in Antarctica? The portal in Antarctica? Yeah, it's called like Wilkes... 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 I gotta <clears throat> find it, I'm gonna write it down at the bottom. But apparently, back in 2003, there was um, someone that worked for the military that was there, and he saw the portal for himself. The portal takes you from one structure to another or to a vessel outside our atmosphere like an invisible elevator and he said so you know when you're watching movies and you see like people go to touch that mirror that like watery mirror type yeah and then their hand goes through it or they get sucked in he yeah. said it looked very similar to this mm, interesting so i believe that they this, there's a lot of things around the world and different cultures different countries different every perspective but there's something that we don't know and yeah. I, would, I would love to know a lot of stuff yeah there's some things going on there and i, I think it be, the way that we live in now and things happening i think very soon we, we're gonna see something and we're gonna know something i think so Do you know what i mean it's I coming it's absolutely coming slap there's a whole pile of shit behind you hey don't shit there bro <laughs> why did you shit there <laughs> slap broke the toilet I broke. <laughs> <laughs> but there's, I, I think that there's something in the mountains. I th I believe that there's like portals or there's something within the mount these mountains specifically. Frost giant? Yeah. Bean or something? Yes, yes, a hundred percent. It like pulls in your chest. I never been there. You've been there close? Yeah, 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 yeah. When you drive all the way out there, it's like a 14 mile drive. But once you get on this road, you come over this hill space. And as you're coming over this hill space, it's just like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, this, you feel something. You feel you something, feel, yeah, and it's no, different it's than right. everywhere else here. It's this one spot, and you're just looking at it, and it's, it's like you feel like this. It goes, hum, like really, really low, like in here. Mm. It's yeah. weird. When I pass it, I'll take a picture and I'll. I'll, I'll I feel. You. I. I don't believe the aliens come from space. No, me neither. I think they come from d different uh, dimensions or something. They can, they can, they can be here, right? But in different dimension, no? Yeah. They can be watching us, but we cannot see them because they, we don't have the technology to see or to 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 travel to there. But yeah. I think aliens like three, three dimension, not try three dimension, but dimensional species, you know? Yeah. With different technology, I think they are something like this around, you know? Mm -hmm. And then there's spirits, then aliens, it's different stuff, but different dimensions, you know? Different dimensions, different beings as well. Yeah. I believe 100 percent that's something like this. Uh, I do too. I don't think we've ever actually left this. We. I think I, the Earth is the center of the universe. I, okay. Do you believe in the 178 uh, worlds around us? What is that? Okay. But there's a theory that the world essentially is not a sphere. It is more of <laughs> a little bit flat. A little bit flat. A little bit flat. But the Earth is the center. 
And then around the Earth, you have uh, the ice wall, which is Antarctica. But then past the ice wall, it's like serpents. It's called Serpent's Gate. Mm. There's more wards break. behind. And there's lands. worlds. There's worlds and there's lands beyond us. So we're the center, and then there's 178 worlds around us, and they have maps of this. The worlds around us are named Mars, are named Venus, are named Neptune, are the lands of the, the lost souls, the lands of the Anunnaki, the lands of... It's interesting. Tartarians. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah, all of it. We find it really hard to even research because mm-hmm. the big companies, people that control the elite, they, they own Google, they own the internet, yeah. they own everything. So they just let us to see and know what they want us to see. And 100%. Know. We, we can't really research what we really want to know because right. there is nothing. They control all of the information on in the world. Yes. So we yes. are just, we can do nothing. We have hand tight. So it's like people always say like, okay, well, what is, what difference does it make? Like if the world is flatter, if it's round and it's like, why, why, why this whole big lie? And I have a theory. Do you do you have a theory on it? I think it's about controlling us because mm-hmm. it, once if everything, if we know the real true and our true potential, we cannot be controlled. We can go build our own house, our yeah. own energy, our own food, and be like sustainable, energized, and food-wise, ever-wise, sustainable. Second, they're gonna lose control about uh, everyone, like sy- system control, like uh, yeah. economic control, you yeah. know. And we're gonna be like free. They, they don't want to be free. They want to be as locking in in a system that right. everyone have to spend more and be paying tax and stuff like that. So they're gonna lose control. The system's gonna collapse if, if you know the truth. I think that's the main idea: is to keep us secluded into this one space so that they don't lose us as like minions slaves. to the power, slaves to the power to their own. What is it like cabal? <laughs> whatever it's called. Sorry, I'm being. T- I can't say certain things, okay? I think we should let people with a little bit more knowledge and money should get together and do some exploration like was before, no? Mm-hmm. Have a lot of billionaires, guys. Why didn't they get together and just go to, and go to Antarctica with a lot of resources, a helicopter and stuff? And yeah. Go around, check it out, you know, make some documentaries and really check it out, you know? Well, they had a couple people that did, that tried, that got on, you know, their own personal planes or uh, helicopters and they were like immediately stopped by the military. Yeah, they don't let us go there, so we should have the freedom to do, no? We should have the freedom to do anything, but we're not allowed to. And I think we should do a little, what's the name uh, I was called to do? Revolution. Let's start a revolution, my friends. I love a Let's revolution. Let's set everyone free. And just start a revolution, let's get together. Let's find the truth. Let's get I, the freedom. I, I mean, I'm here for it, or else what are we doing? Yeah. What are we doing here? I think we have more in this life than we think. Hold on, I want to do this so we can add it to the video. Will you hold this microphone? Mm-hmm. I'm dressed as, I was just supposed to be dressed as a spiritual uh, guru, but I'm more dressed as like a hippie from the 70s <laughs> with leggings and Uggs. I'm going to do a spin now. I don't think I really, I didn't really understand the assignment. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> But um, anyway, because I know Johnny's a spiritual guy, I want to do spiritual things, but I just look like I went to Woodstock instead. Anyway, I got this sound bowl so we can channel. Hopefully we don't channel too much. (sighs) Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stunt work is broken. I, I don't know how to do this as well. Are you feeling it though? Not really. Okay. I can't do it, Johnny. Maybe we gotta do it and then and then we can edit sound in. Okay, ready? Act, but act what like is supposed to happen? it's a solar plexus chakra. That's supposed to be yellow. Anyway, this is for the solar plexus chakra, which is right there. Mm. Anyway, when you hit it, it's supposed to vibrate at a specific frequency that activates your solar plexus chakra, mm. and it opens it. It mm. opens it up. You know the theory about bells? Why they stopped using bells and getting rid of bells? Because yeah, healing. Because it heals. Yeah. yeah. Okay, ready? I'm going to do this. Just pretend like I'm, you're, you feel it so that I can do it for the video. And then we should add the sound over this so it sounds like I know what to do. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. working.
Okay, I want to organically announce the wardrobe change so that it's not surprising to the viewers. <laughs> Dude, it was the vibration from your solar plexus. It's releasing. Uh, if you weren't fighting, what would you be doing? Like in life. I don't think I could do nothing else. Like, fight is it's me, you know? But mm -hmm. I was a student to, do, to be a chemistry engineer. Mm -hmm. Oh, f that. Yeah, f yeah. that. I'm a fighter. I'm gonna, I'm born as a fighter, I die as a fighter. That's a great answer. F chemistry. I failed chemistry. Um, your brother, oh, your brother just got signed to the UFC. Heavyweight. Oh, yeah. Let's fing go. My, my young brother, he's 26. Mm -hmm. He's an 11 year old. He says he's gonna be the new Khabib. <laughs> on the heavyweight. He's good, he's doing good and I'll be back in Vegas to, to help him. He's gonna go to Russia to help him in his camp and mm -hmm. I'm gonna come with him for his fight as well. It's gonna be, I think, April 6th. So I'm very excited for my brother. He's like 11 and 0, right? Yeah, yeah. He's 6'6", yeah. six, six, a little bit taller than me. Cool, you guys make a lot of funny stuff. Yeah. He's 6'6"? Six, six? He's 6'6". Six, six. Big mother Maybe you guys <laughs> have some giant in you. Yeah, maybe, a little bit, yeah. Dude, that's cool. You guys make really funny content together. Yeah. <laughs> cool sh Oh, okay. Two more questions about fighting. So, okay, in Abu Dhabi, did anyone press charges against you when you were in the octagon? Press charge? <laughs> <laughs> it's like you had like a rage blackout and you're like, no, I'm fighting right now. Yeah. And you started pushing security and stuff like that. No, no, it was everything okay. I was Everyone just was upset because cool, right? I, I was... Of course, the, the doctor is there for protect us because we are dumb ass fighters. We don't know when we have to stop, if you get hurt or not. We just want to fight. Like, right. what we are, you know? We are right. fighters. Somebody have to take the decision for us, you know? Right. I was just upset because, I, you know, so much training, so much diet, so much sacrifice. You miss, like, Christmas and mm -hmm. birthdays, special occasions with your family because you're on diet and you very focused on training. And, you know, and when you fight, you, you do your best there. If you get hurt, it doesn't matter, you're gonna take off. But when the fight finished that way, you just get really upset. Like, I don't want the fight finished without the proper result, you know? Right. It was just very upsetting for me. Right. It's just upsetting, period. Yeah. Um, do you think, cause it's like, I I know your sense of humor and like you're you're very you're very funny, but you're also very intentionally funny. Like you're a natural comedian. Mm. Like you do it with intent, like you're very funny. Mm. So I feel like, when they asked you where you were, you were kind of like, I'm in the desert. Duh. I was. <laughs> like, you were literally in the desert. Was. I actually I said, I'm like the middle, did... I'm the desert, I'm the Middle East desert. I was very specific, yeah. specific is what so I was I, saying. I feel like, it just makes me so mad because I feel like there's a language barrier there for the other guy. And he just didn't, he also too, like, didn't know you. And it's a very specific answer. But I think he wanted to say, like, I'm at UFC 2, was it 295? Like, was it 295? I don't know. 296, 294? <laughs> we'll 284, that. no? Two, it was, it was 200. <laughs> Do you think, like, would you go back and say something else? Or would you stick to that answer? I, I... I don't have no regrets of nothing. I yeah. think I'm gonna stick with them. So if they ask me now, I'm on the desert of Nevada. Yeah, you're fing out here, yeah, man. Yeah, that's it. It is what it Accept. is. Accept. It's the desert, bro. Just come get on. Get with it, bro. Yeah. Accept it. Back to regular programming. Um, um, let's talk about bunkers. Bunkers. I wanna build my. I wanna build my bunker too. Yeah. It's, can... not, it's not gonna be like the fing. What's his name? Zach. Zach Zuckerberg. Get a $100 million dollar bunker in Hawaii. I don't have that much money, but I can do a nice one, you know. You can do so really good ones for less than like 50 I just want to maybe two stores. One of the stores is going to be like a like a shooting shooting range, so I can put a lot of my guns. And the below is going to be like two storage, like yeah. food and put plants, you know, make my own survival stuff. Yeah. And like some beds and, of course, a gaming room too, so yeah. I spend time, you know. Yeah. You never know what's going to do if the apocalypse go up. Up there, or just down there, you know, have to do something to spend your time. So we're gonna have some little jacuzzis, you know, sauna. Like, gonna be a very nice, fancy bunker. I like that bunker. Just thinking about it, because they're talking about you hear about the solar storm that's apparently coming. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's real or if they're just gonna turn the fucking grid off. Whatever the fucking media say, um, like 90% of the people believe, ah, oh, the storm, ah, oh, the aliens, whatever. Yeah. Let's, no. you know, like, it's bullshit. It's gonna be a civil war. It's gonna be all. It's gonna be a war. People have to wake up. Mm -hmm. They're gonna turn our power off, 
and then watch what happens three days people are going to lose their minds they're going to start looting the Walmarts and the and all the supermarkets and the Costco. People, people should get a little bit less distraction, get a little bit more knowledge because we can like plant our own food, we can mm -hmm. develop our own energy. We have a uh, solar energy, we have energy from wind, and we have a uh, uh, magnetic field energy as well. Like we have unlimited energy uh -huh. for free. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Nikola Tesla was building a, a tower mm -hmm. and to do a wireless mm -hmm. energy? For everyone, but for free. For free. But he, they broke his tower and, and locked up his project, CIA or whatever, who did to him. We are already in 2021. You have cure for any disease, yeah. not treatment. Treatment is a profitable because you can make somebody spend the money for long treatment forever. No, we have cure. Right. They develop disease, so they sell the treatment. You mm -hmm. know, we have cure for a lot of disease already in 2000. 2024 now, right? Yeah. But a long time we already have, but they just sell the treatment. They don't sell the cure. I mean, I don't think that they ever will. And it, you know, did you see that they have like a, a shot now that they can give cats to make them live like 10 extra years? Mm -hmm. So cats can live to like 30 years old? Bunkers, man. Gotta get on them. And it's just like, okay, because you say these things and the people are like, oh, it's a conspiracy. No, it's not a conspiracy. It's, not, it's real. It's real. What's your theory on AI? Do you think that we're. Just, like, do you think did that you we're watch AI? Uh, the Terminator? Mm -hmm. It's happening. The movie is happening. Yeah. Just, you can't. It's unstoppable. Like, the technology advances so quick. And every day you have better things, mm -hmm. better development, better. Uh, technology that's gonna do like it's just development is, is, is unstoppable it's so quickly that it's gonna happen so I have to come back and watch the movie to just be ready to, to <laughs> do so, you know what I mean you know the woman that made um, that made the Terminator also made the Matrix really yeah so she, I didn't so know the that. little boy in the Terminator is actually Neo in the Matrix oh. so the whole idea the whole concept of the movies is man against the machine man versus mm. the machine weird sh See, I have so many weird questions. Like, do you know about the Anunnaki? Mm -hmm. I like the fallen angels and the Nephilim mm -hmm. and stuff. One of the the theories that I think is able to, and I'm, I'm not not kind of believe, but it's kind of can be, mm -hmm. is like this angel when they came to the earth, they know that they can they have sex with the hormones, mm -hmm. they have Nephilims. And I think every angel have different genetics, so this is why we have black people, Asian, and gingers, and different like uh, genetic. Is the, the the source of the different genetics is from the different angels that fell to the earth. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you believe in dragons? Did you think? Do you think that dragons were ever real? Probably, yeah, because we have a lot of folklore about that. You know, mm -hmm. in Brazil, we have a guy who called Saint George. He killed a few dragons there. I think in Ireland we have a guy as well that comp like took the snakes out a long time ago. But everywhere you, you, you on the mythology you, you can see pictures and history about them, but they probably exist because yeah. you cannot take that images and the folklore from nowhere. Do you know what I mean? Just if, uh, they probably exist, you know? Yeah. You look at art from different centuries or different times, or you look at hieroglyphics or things that are written in stone, or mm -hmm. you can't rewrite things that were written uh, like hieroglyphics. You can't rewrite these things. You can't rewrite those stories like you can scripture or, or books or like religious texts. It's like you look at the Bible and there are so many things in the Bible that I think are true, and then there's so many things in the Bible can, that I think are parables. You can't even parables. really check 100% the Bible because after King James changed the, right. the version of the but took a lot of books out the proper version of the bible exactly. to we to we really research what's true what's not because the mm -hmm. bible they, it's no they don't have everything like original anymore exactly. they change everything you look at all of the religions and i feel like they are all very similar with like the ultimate goal in mind everyone wants the same thing and it's like the understanding that vibrating on the highest frequency of of peace love and joy which is all the way up at the top is what transcends light from low frequency matter. I'm a, a high frequency being, I read. Mm -hmm. I, I took everything that can be low frequency through my mind, through my thoughts, through my, my body, even food wise, yeah. activities, like I'm, I'm totally 100% high frequency being. Yeah. I'm always happy, I always motivate people. I manifest right. love and wealth, 
not just for me, but people around me, like people that are around, because I'm, I want to be another level. I don't, I don't, I don't want to wish for wealth. I want to manifest wealth around for other people as well. So, do you understand? I'm, I'm not. I'm, I want to be in the another level of manifestation. You no, know? manifest love. People around me is gonna feel loved, not because me love them, but because I manifest love around where I go and wealth and healthy. So I think if everybody understand this and should work towards these high frequency thoughts and, and feelings, the world could be changed, but people are so greedy, they just don't mm -hmm. care about each other. If you end up working in continuity and understanding that if we all were to have like a similar same goal in mind, which is to care for each other rather than just solely ourselves. Like if we spend so much time on this identity bullshit, like identity, I, it's always me, me, me. The ego is so swollen and it gets so full of just, it just clouds, it clouds everything. And what it does is it separates people from each other more and more, regardless of how interesting technology has become in the way that we can communicate with each other at the drop of a hat. We have no idea how to talk to each other. People are no longer dating. They're no longer finding love. Do you know love, when no longer... you change your life, when you stop live for yourself and live for God, kind of, because mm -hmm. when you understand that, I think like this, if I live for God, I want to give God, I, God live inside me, right? Mm -hmm. I want to give God the best experience. So I want to give a wealthy, love, and healthy life for God. I want to eat health food so God can feel good inside me. Mm -hmm. I want to give good moments to God, like having fun, having lovely moments with my family and my friends. So God's going to be happy, happy and proud of me because he lives inside me. God lives inside everyone. Everyone have a little piece of God inside. Right. So when you understand that, you stop live for yourself and live for God. God like you more and then he start <laughs> opening the yeah. windows for you and things start getting better. But just... When you live just for yourself, no, I want this because I want. No, you don't want because for you. Yeah. If you want something, you should want to give God this ex experience. I think God share himself to all the humanity, all of the beings around, so he can experience life. I believe on this. It's like a, And then it's, once this happen, you understand that. Right. Your life just is great because you don't live for yourself anymore. So right. I don't need to have, I don't need food, I don't need money for me, I need this for God or for the loved ones because if I provide this for my mom is another piece of God living in my mom mm -hmm. do you know what I mean so I make it all of the gods around me that's just one God yep. happy and better like environment for him and when you understand that you can stop living for yourself and live for God you live for others as well yeah and then your life get better my life yeah. is amazing I'm so happy I'm the happiest man in the world right now <laughs> and people don't understand that that, that's such a beautiful way to explain it. Vision should be to united people, not to separated people. Yeah. And today, most of people understand religion to separate people, not to united. You know, people hate each other. Ah, this guy is have another god, and you know they just hate him. No, you have to love each other, get together. Everyone has to have the same concept. You know, this one be happy and loved. Mm -hmm. If you will respect everyone, everyone will respect you too. So everything's gonna be like in, in a good harmony. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I like that. You are the change. Okay, here, hold this. I got gifts for you. Okay, so. I love gifts. Uh, it's so cold. I got you a whole bag of things. Okay, one, I got you a, an evil eye bracelet. So you stay. Light blue. Protected, yeah. You have evil eye bracelets? Hmm? Have you ever heard of these? No. No? No. Oh, it's cool. Look, read the back. Then, you ever see these? Yeah. Stones, right? Yeah, they're they're different. Yeah, they're stones. So this one's andradite, and this one is rainbow obsidian. But I was reading them, and I feel like they they pertain to you. Okay. The energies. Um, do you like coconuts? Yeah. Okay, I got you. I use, I use coconut for everything. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, well, these coconut incense. The cooking to put on the skin. Is it coconut oil? This? No, no, no. They're like little cones. No, this is coconut what? What is it? It's a coconut ah. smell. They're like little cones, and you light them, and it's like an incense, ah, and you put it on here. I put here? Yeah, you can put it right there. Mm. Um, I got you a feather. Oh. <laughs> Do you ever light sage? Yeah. Good and Christmas come early. Look, and then this one's cool because it oh, has, ro look, rose and white sage. It's got petals on it. Okay. Look, and then I got you this because you're in the desert. 
It's a cactus. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a bag to put all the shit in. <laughs> oh, I, I got you a Good Vibes Only um, air freshener. Put in the car? Yeah. Okay, and then look, I got you this. Purifying your mind, body, and spirit while restoring balance and energy within your surroundings. So you spray it in your surroundings, mm -hmm. and it's supposed to clean our uh, energy in all of our spirits. Yeah, it smells good. It smells like lavender. I got you another cactus. <laughs> you have to cleanse your stones, so cleanse those. You know to cleanse them? So you light them like this. What's cleansing? Cleansing means to remove like all of the impurities from it. What should I do with this? I'm going to show you. See? Okay. But it cleanses, it cleanses, so what it does is it takes a lot of the bacteria. So there's like a health benefit to it. Mm -hmm. It cleanses the actual air and it purifies it. Like, actually, like it takes bacteria out of okay. the air and stuff. But what you do with these, you can light these sage sticks and you this use the feather, yeah, to kind of like waft it because it needs oxygen to keep it burning. Yeah. So you usually use the feather to kind of keep it burning. I just usually wave it around my house. Um, but you take your stones, like your crystals, and you, you, you just cleanse them like this. Cleanse. Because what happens, yeah, what happens is they get, um, sometimes they get too full of your energy. Because what mm. they do is they're like stones for protection and crystals for protection. Mm. So whether you have a lot of energy or whether it's positive or negative, whatever it is, it kind of, what it does is it protects you or it gives you whatever the purpose of the stone is. But you got to cleanse it because it gets too full, it'll break. Okay. Or it won't be able to serve its purpose anymore. Okay. Oh, I got you this necklace. You gotta sage it though, because I touched it. <laughs> oh, is it is a necklace? Yeah, it's a what necklace about, with a stone. With so, the stone? Yeah, so look, I got you. It's This one's called Prey Night. But this stone, you could put it anywhere you want, by your bed or something. So. This one's for your third eye, your heart, and your crown. It's good for emotional balancing, transition into in, transformation, re, reduction of stress. Yeah, it's hard. Not as hard as your head. Because it's calcifying or try to break the calcium. <laughs> you can't drink tap water. You gotta cleanse your stones. I have that. This is cleaned? Serpent. You gotta, no, you gotta clean it yourself. What's cleaned? You gotta cleanse it. With what, this. What's cleansing means? It removes the impurities. But what's cleanse actions means? The action is the light. You have to light the what's sage. What's cleansing? Cleansing. Okay, the idea of cleansing, because okay, you have you know to cleanse has, your stones. How I cleanse my stones? You take the sage. This is how you cleanse it. You take the sage, you light it. This is cleansing. This is gonna cleanse it. You're gonna take the stone, you have, and you light this, mm. and you cleanse it. You put the, above the smoke. Mm. You cleanse it in the smoke, and it removes all of the impurities. Because you see me touching it. Mm. My intentions are different than your intentions. Yeah. So you don't want people to really touch your crystals. Mm -hmm. You can buy them for people, but you have to make sure that they clean it. Okay. So you have to clean you it. You clean with the, the fire? Clean with the sage. Okay. So when this burns... This is sage. This is the sage. So when this burns and you have the smoke, mm. just put, wrap it around your crystals. Okay. And you clean it. Do it with your jewelry, stuff like that. Mm. You clean everything. Your room, your bed, okay. like where you sleep. Yeah. Your shoes, because you bring different energy home, it yeah. takes all of that out. Okay. So you do that with this one, you do this, and then um, your necklace. <laughs> Wait. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let me get up. My hands don't work. It's so cold. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Dude, you got a big ass neck. It's going to be a choker. Got it. Thank you very much. <laughs> look cool? Yeah, you look cool. Dude, your neck is like a tree trunk. Twelve disciples, and you have twelve minds. You have twelve. Did you got this in camera? I just stabbed me in the eye. You just stabbed yourself in the eye? Are you I'm okay? I'm telling you, my hands are not working. Okay, we gotta go. We're gonna wrap this shit up. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, fight question. Is your eye okay? Did you really just stab yourself yeah. in the eye? I'm gonna get blamed for this somehow. <laughs> somehow this is my fault. <clears throat> Who's Alex? Uh, Pereira. Oh. Okay, so after Uncle Ayev, would you want to fight Alex? Yeah, why not? I want to fight the best in the world. He's the best in the world now on my division. He's the champ, right? So, of course I want to fight him. Just need to beat uh, Uncle Ayev first.
Mm -hmm. uh, beating him, I'll be ready to, to get Alex. It's going to be a, a nice fight. Two big Brazilians. Yeah, two big Brazilians for fun. sure. You got to bring your stones with you. Uh-oh. I can do bad face too. Serious face. Yeah, I got you, my man. I'm coming, boy. It's going to be fun. Oh, my hands don't even... <laughs> My hands don't even make a fist, they're so cold. Dude, it's been fun. Honestly, I don't know what we talked about, but I feel like we talked about a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Thank you. Is your brain cold? Everything's cool. Okay, it's time to go. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching, guys. <laughs>